there are four main types of ribonucleotides present in the cells and it depends upon the types of nitrogenous bases present in a ribonucleotide you know the structure of a ribonucleotide there are three components one is pentose sugar ribose sugar the other one is phosphoric acid and the third one is nitrogenous base the two components that is phosphoric acid and our ribose sugar they are same in all the ribonucleotides and the only difference only difference is in the nitrogenous base so uh, as you know there are four types of nitrogenous bases present in our ribonucleotide one nitrogenous base is present in one ribonucleotide but overall there are four types of ribonucleotides so there are four types of nucleotides which are present in a ribonucleic acid these four types they depend on the type of nitrogenous base as you can see this colored portion this colored portion is a nucleoside you know uh, this is a nucleoside because a pentose sugar and a nitrogenous base they both when they both combine they make a nucleoside and here the nitrogenous base is adenine so this nucleoside is adenosine and when to this adenosine a phosphoric acid is attached it becomes a nucleotide so this adenosine becomes adenylate let's move to the second type of ribonucleotide present in the nucleic acids here it is guanine so in this colored portion a guanine joins with a pentose sugar and they make a guanosine and when to this guanosine a phosphoric acid is attached it make a guanylate so next uh, here are uh, two other types of ribonucleotides again the colored portion this colored portion is a uridine because the nitrogenous base present here this is uracil so to this uridine one phosphoric acid group is attached and it becomes uridylate this is third type of ribonucleotide present in the nucleic acids the fourth and the last type of ribonucleotide is cytidylate in a cytidylate the nitrogenous base is cytosine and this pentose sugar and this phosphoric acid is present so when a cytosine attaches with pentose sugar it make cytidine and when to this cytidine a phosphoric acid is attached a complete nucleotide that is cytidylate is formed so these four types of ribonucleotides are present in the ribonucleic acids next how these ribonucleotides are joined together because i said ribonucleic acid is a polymeric compound so many ribonucleotides join together to make a molecule so here you can see this is uh, one ribonucleotide and this is second ribonucleotide so in this ribonucleotide one phosphoric acid is attached to its five carbon and this attachment is through ester linkage so uh, the hydroxyl group present here in this phosphoric acid it attacks to the hydro hydroxyl group present on the pentose of next ribonucleotide so in this way a condensation reaction takes place here a water molecule is removed and here you can see these two ribonucleotides they join together and they make a dinucleotide in which these two nucleotides are linked together through phosphodiester linkage why this is called phosphodiester linkage because 
here one phosphate group is present and this phosphate group it is linked with one pentose with a ester linkage and the second ester linkage is present here so all this is one phosphate and two esters so it is called phosphodiester so in this way a polymeric compound consisting of many ribonucleotides are formed so in this way many ribonucleotides they join together and they make a polymeric chain which is called a polyribonucleotide or a ribonucleic acid